Okay, hello everyone! Today we're doing something different and doing a tutorial. If you've watched my videos, you know I like to fly with call sign November 359er Golf Charlie. My airplanes also have the correct tail numbers on the outside. It's really easy to modify the deliveries to have your own tail number on your airplanes, and with five minutes, I'll show you too how to do it. If you open up the X-Plane folder, you'll find the aircraft folder. It stores all of your aircraft. You can find Laminar Research's folder, which has all of the default aircraft, but I usually make a new folder for my Pairware aircraft called My Hangar. I've put the SR-22 into that. If we open that up, you'll see a lot of files, but the ones that we're interested in are the Objects file. That has all of the parts and textures which make up your airplane. These may have different names depending on the aircraft company. Carnado uses the E for Exterior Naming Convention. If you open E1, you will find the fuselage. This is the blank white version of the default livery. If you open the liveries folder, you will find the painted versions of the fuselage supplied by Carnado. Each of these usually has a single file, and this overrides the corresponding file in the default objects folder. Opening this version of E1 will show me the painted blue and white livery that I want to customize. To customize it, I'll duplicate this livery and rename the folder to my new tail number, November 359er Golf Charlie. Next, I'll open up the E1 version of this copied livery and also the E1 version of the original blank livery in the objects folder. I'll be using Photoshop for this because I need a program with layers, but any program which has layers will work. Once I have them in Photoshop, it's important to have the blank livery on the bottom layer and the painted livery on the top layer. With the painted livery selected, I'll choose the eraser and then use it to erase the tail number of the painted livery. And it's pretty cool, it's kind of like magic. I can see it disappearing, but none of the paint of the original unpainted livery is disturbed. If I use the lasso tool to clear out the other tail number, works just like the eraser, just faster, you can see why this is important. The seams and rivets that were underneath are preserved. And this really works because we are just cutting a hole in the top layer and showing the blank livery underneath. Now all that's left is to select the text tool and type in my new tail number, November 359 or Golf Charlie. Most tail numbers on aircraft use a uh, blocky text that's pretty easy to read. So I'm going to go up and select my font and choose a nice block style uh, that I think will look pretty good on the Cirrus. And then I get to tweak it a little bit here by resizing it and getting it just right. And then once I'm happy, all I have to do is save this as a PNG and put the E1 PNG file uh, back in the custom livery for November 359er Golf Charlie. And that's all there is to it. Next time you open X-Plane, select November 359er Golf Charlie from the Cirrus liveries and enjoy flying with your customized tail number. So thanks, as always, for following along with me this time. No flying on this video, but there will be more flights soon. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, be sure to leave me a note in the comments section. I'd be happy to make some more. And as always, stay tuned for further flight adventures.